Hey, I'm Cyrus, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Flare VM on a Windows 10 virtual machine. So you'll notice I actually have it already set up right here, um, but I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to get it installed on Windows 10. So first and foremost, you should have a Windows 10 virtual machine set up with a clean install. And if you don't, go ahead and navigate to Windows Development Center and download the appropriate ISO for whatever virtualization software you're using. If you need to do that, pause this video, get set up, and then come back. Next thing you'll want to do is actually Google or go to Flare VM blog post from FireEye. Now, you'll notice that they actually have the steps kind of detailed, but this is for a Windows 7 image, and I wanted to download it in Windows 10, and I didn't notice that they had an updated blog, so I made a video for it. So if you're on your Windows 10 virtual machine, you can go to the GitHub page and download the repo for Flare VM, and you can also do this on your host machine, which I'll show you how to do right now. So go ahead and copy and paste that link, and then download the folder, or clone the repo, whichever you prefer. It's the same thing. Um, once you have that downloaded, go ahead and copy and paste that folder onto your virtual machine. So I already have done that, and you'll notice that I have the folder here, and it's called uh, Flare VM Master. So the next step to do is go ahead and run PowerShell as an administrator. So right click on PowerShell and run as administrator, and from the FireEye post, you'll actually be advised to running the execution policy as bypass. So go ahead and type set dash execution, and you can actually tab complete this, and then put the parameter of bypass. This will prompt you, just say yes here. And then next, you'll want to um, go ahead and change into the directory of the Flare VM master. So mine's on my desktop. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then you'll see all the files listed here. Same thing if I open it up. So you have two options here. You can click the install PS file if you need to, um, but I don't know that that always works. So I would just do it via the command prompt or PowerShell. And here you're just going to run the install file with, sorry, dot slash install. This will actually prompt you for your credentials for your VM. Um, so you can put that in here. And then it'll start. Um, and this does take some time, and it runs through, and you'll notice some red. But uh, just ignore that. It doesn't actually mean it's errored out. Uh, you'll start to see it, it kind of running and doing its thing. Once it is finished and complete, uh, you'll notice that you actually get a flare folder on your desktop and your background image and stuff changes. But here is where all the, the goodies are, if you will. <laughs> so you'll have all your tools here, um, your disassemblers like Ida and Ghidra. Um, you have a ton of stuff in here. I don't even know all the tools here because I haven't played around completely in here. But it does install Python for you, that kind of thing. Um, but pretty much you'll want to come into this folder and play around and see exactly what you'll need for your malware analysis and reverse engineering um, studies. So you'll notice that my PowerShell window keeps prompting up and restarting, and that's completely normal, and it should happen. So make sure you keep an eye on your install. But once you get your desktop image changed and that Flare VM, excuse me, that Flare folder on your background, uh, you're pretty much good to go. So uh, good luck. I hope this helps. If you like this video, Go ahead and like and subscribe. I plan on making some more reverse engineering and malware analysis related videos. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, my handle is Cyrus Security. So thanks for watching and good luck. Hope this helps.